people. It's another early morning here on Providencia, but today it's because the whole crew is at the airport. Our little plane is just through here. Today is going to be a little bit of a travel day because we leave behind island life and we're heading back to the mainland. But to get to the place we want to go to, Minka, we've got to get three flights and then a bus or a taxi or something. So could be a little bit of a long one today. Gracias. Something very special about being on a tiny plane. Four hour layover here on San Andres until our next flight that will take us to Bogota. So we've left our suitcases, backpacks, all of the stuff like that. And we're gonna try and find somewhere nice to chill for a couple of hours on the island until our next flight. <laughs> and we've just said goodbye to Mags because she has to get a different flight to go back to Medellin to go back to work but we will be seeing her a bit later in our trip and now we're heading to Bogota. So this is us right here in the middle of the Caribbean Sea and this is where we want to get to today but annoyingly there isn't a flight between the two that we could get. So we have to fly from San Andres all the way down to Bogota, and then from there up to Santa Marta here. Yeah, that coffee we had earlier, that was way too much for me. I, I got really anxious on the plane. I was looking out the window and was like, has anyone, has anyone else seen how high we are right now? It looks like we were going way too high. I looked down and I was like, the clouds are very far beneath us. I, I don't know what happened, but it was, that was not fun. <laughs> Did you see how high we were going? On the plane. No. So from Santa Marta, where we're flying to next, we thought we were going to have to head to Minca, which is like a cool town, kind of in like a jungly area with great views. But it turns out we've booked a hostel that's in the Minca region, but actually we think over an hour away from the town itself. So plans have changed a little bit. We've got no idea how we're quite going to get to the place we need to go to, but it may involve a 4x4 over a very uh, bumpy road, so we'll have to see. <laughs> We've arrived in Santa Marta. This, this is literally the sea right there. We are right back on the north coast now, and we've got to get some cabs to get to somewhere that's nearer our hostel that we've booked, we're not quite sure. 
Gracias. Anna was a little bit sick on that flight, but she is feeling better now. And now we're gonna start getting on route in cabs. Oh, yo! Four by four. Yeah, boy. <laughs> Don't know how four by four. <laughs> you ready for this one? I'm a bounce. <laughs> On a scale of one to extremely, how bumpy is this going to be? How <laughs> much airtime are we going to get? <laughs> the way, dog. Get out of the way. Did you sleep? <laughs> oh, 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 hola. Hola. My dog. Oh, look at the Ya vengo, mi rey. Ya vengo. They looked very happy. Nope, you can't. Pull this up. That was something else we got. We're in the middle of nowhere. Oh. All the nature. So we've arrived at Carpe Diem, which is basically an eco lodge in the middle of nowhere, somewhere near Minka. That's about all of the information I have right now, but it looks pretty great. And like all of the dinner options are things that are raised or grown on their farm that they have here. I think it's going to be a pretty awesome experience to be staying here for a few days with the whole Columbia crew but right now it is time for a beer and some food after our long travel day so I'm going to finish this one up here. Thank you so much for watching. Big love. It feels good around here. How do you feel after the coffee? <laughs> I look back and you were sheet white. Uh, my client will refuse to speak to you. Please turn all cameras off. <laughs>